Hello and welcome to Obla Air, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. I'm Joan Walker. And I'm David Evans. And in this series, we aim to improve your English language skills with the help of a drama story about the staff and passengers of a budget airline. So far in our story, we've heard that a property developer called Sophia Eden Howe is planning to build a new hotel on Freeport's West Beach. But the project is supposed to be top secret, and so she is furious when she discovers that protesters have found out about it. This is what happened in the last programme. I don't believe this. Look, they're even holding a public meeting about it. Oh, yes. Make your feelings known. Meet on Monday night at eight o'clock by Rene's Bar on West Beach. This is the last thing we need. This was supposed to be top secret. Well, I haven't told anyone about it, honestly. And、uh, I've never even heard of it. Oh, Mr. McHenry is not going to be happy. Demonstrations, protests. He hates that sort of thing. Well, I'm sure it won't be too bad. When I find out who leaked this information, there'll be trouble. I can tell you, big trouble. And our first scene today starts with Betsy and the captain discussing who leaked the information, who told people about it when it was supposed to be a secret. The captain says, "Sophia thinks we leaked the information. I know she does." And your first question today is. Who does the captain think might be responsible for the leak? Betsy and the captain also talk about the catering company, which has been causing them big problems recently. What has happened to it? And they discuss the arrangements for a visit by a man called Mr. McHenry, who is the main investor in the new hotel development. He's a VIP who will be flying to Freeport on Obla Air. And who has the captain asked to sit next to him on the flight? Let's find out. Here's the scene. Sophia thinks we leaked the information. I know she does. She's convinced it couldn't have come from anywhere else. Well, don't look at me. I haven't said anything to anyone. What about Pavi, though? She hated the idea of the hotel, didn't she? Do you think she might have told someone? Oh, Captain, how could you think such a thing? How long have you known Pavi? She would never do anything to harm Obla Air. Yes, yes, of course. You're right. I'm sorry. I mean, today she spent the whole morning making cheese sandwiches. Cheese sandwiches again. You haven't heard about the catering company? No. It went bankrupt.、Oh, you're kidding.、Mm. So we haven't got any food for the flight. Well, we've got. Cheese sandwiches.、Oh, but Betsy, Sophia told me that Mr. McKendry really likes his food, and we need to make a good impression. Well, it's cheese sandwiches or nothing. Which do you think he would prefer? Hmm. Anyway, I don't know what all the fuss is about. I mean, why all this secrecy? They are going to make the announcement in a couple of days, so everyone will know about it then. But until then, it's strictly confidential. That's just the way they operate. If you say so, and don't you worry about the food either. Pavi and I make a very nice cheese sandwich. <laughs> I promise. I hope you're right, Betsy. Anyway, I've asked Vinnie to sit next to Mr. McKendry on the flight, so I'm hoping he can keep him happy. Are you sure that's wise, Captain? Well, who does the captain think leaked the information about the new hotel? Pavi, he says. She hated the idea of the hotel, didn't she? Do you think she might have told someone? Betsy is very angry about the captain's suggestion. She says she would never do anything to harm Obla Air. And she continues. I mean, today she spent the whole morning making cheese sandwiches. And that's not really her job, of course. That reminds the captain about the problems they've been having with the catering company, and what has happened to it. Betsy tells him it went bankrupt. When a company goes bankrupt, it goes out of business because it can't pay its debts, and that's worrying news for the captain. He says Sophia told me that Mr. McKendry really likes his food, and we need to make a good impression. But Betsy tells him it's cheese sandwiches or nothing. Which do you think he'd prefer? The captain then tells Betsy who will sit next to Mr. McHenry on the flight. He says, "I've asked Vinnie to sit next to Mr. McHenry on the flight, 
so I'm hoping he can keep him happy. Betsy's not so sure that's a good idea, and says, "Are you sure that's wise, Captain?" And we'll find out whether it is a good idea in just a moment. You're listening to Obla Air, a Learn English radio series brought to you by the British Council. The next scene takes place on the Obla Air flight from London to Freeport. Vinny is trying to entertain Mr. McHendry by telling him stories. We hear him say, "Oh yes, Mr. McHendry, that was one of the funniest things that ever happened to me." But is Mr. McHendry enjoying Vinny's stories? You'll also hear Pavy walking through the plane, asking, "Would you like some sandwiches?" And what does Mr. McHendry think of Obla Air's cheese sandwiches? We then hear the captain make an announcement. He begins, "This is your captain speaking. We will shortly be entering an area of turbulence. That's an area where the plane might suddenly go up and down." And so, what does the captain ask people to do? And one more question: What happens to Mr. McHendry and Pavy at the end of the scene? Let's listen and find out. Oh yes, Mr. McHendry, that was one of the funniest things that ever happened to me. Although there was one other time. I've got to tell you this; it'll make you laugh. Now, it so happened. Really? Yes, Mr. McHendry. I'm going to get out my laptop and I'm going to do some work. Of course, of course. I won't disturb you.、Oh, these seats are so small. Well, it's interesting you should say that, Mr. McKendry. Yes, because we looked into this question. Vinny, I'm trying to work. Oh, absolutely. You're a busy man, and time management is very important. You don't need you to、like、tell me about that. Would you like some sandwiches?、Uh, uh, just cheese, I'm afraid.、Um, hmm, some sandwiches, sir. Yes.、Oh. Oh, thank you, Pavy. <coughs> What do you call this? You call this food? Well, I feed my dog better stuff than this.、Uh, Obla Air is a budget airline, sir. You get what you pay for. Pavy, there are airlines that serve smoked salmon and caviar, sir. But I'm afraid we are not one of them. Enjoy your tea sandwich. It's handmade, by the way. What? You call that customer service? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, don't worry about Pavy. <laughs> She's quite a character. <laughs> oh yes. Actually, the first time I met her, <laughs> oh, it was funny. Right. I cannot take any more of this. I'm going to find myself another seat. Oh, of course, Mr. McKendry. <laughs> take your pick. <laughs> This is your captain speaking. We、uh, will shortly be entering an area of turbulence. Would you all please return to your seats and keep those seatbelts fastened? Thank you.、Uh, can you go back to your seats, please?、Oh, excuse me. Can you sit down, please? Can I just get past here?、Uh, no, I'm sorry, sir. The captain has switched on the fastened seatbelt sign. I don't care what the captain has switched on. I need to change my seat. Pavy, it's all right. This is important.、Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is a health and safety issue, sir. I must ask you to return to your seat immediately.、Uh, can you please sit? Whoa! Now,、uh, hey, what's going on? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> That was my head.、Uh, well, if you'd sat down when I asked you. Whoa! Ah, ow! And that was my head. Well, what does Mr. McHendry think of Vinnie's stories? He obviously doesn't like them because he says, "I'm going to get out my laptop and do some work." And what does he think of the cheese sandwiches? He doesn't like them either. He says to Pavy, "What do you call this? I feed my dog better stuff than this." Pavy starts to argue with him, saying, "Obla Air is a budget airline, sir. You get what you pay for." That puts Mr. McHendry into an even worse mood, and when Vinny starts talking to him again, he gets up and says, "Right, I cannot take any more of this. I'm going to find myself another seat." Then we hear the captain's announcement, and what does he ask people to do? He says, "Would you all please return to your seats and keep your seat belts fastened?" But Mr. McHendry doesn't want to listen and refuses to sit down. 
And so what happens to him and Pavi when the plane enters the area of turbulence at the end of the scene? They both bang their heads. Yes, they both hit their heads on the luggage lockers. So Mr McHenry is sure to be in a worse mood than ever. And we'll find out what happens when he gets to Freeport next time. This is Obla Air, a Learn English radio series brought to you by the British Council. And don't forget that you can find more resources to help you learn English at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. That's learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. But now let's remind you of some of the language that we've met in today's programme. What's the word that means to give people secret information? Leak. To leak. What's the phrase for when a company goes out of business because it can't pay its debts? Go bankrupt. To go bankrupt. And what about an area where a plane might suddenly go up and down? An area of turbulence. An area of turbulence. Now here's a chance to hear a part of today's drama again. Oh, yes, Mr. McKendry. That was one of the funniest things that ever happened to me. Although, there was one other time. I've got to tell you this, it'll make you laugh. Now, it so happened. Really? Yes, Mr. McKendry? I'm going to get out my laptop and I'm going to do some work. Of course, of course. I won't disturb you. Oh, these seats are so small. Well, it's interesting you should say that, Mr. McKendry. Yes, because we looked into this question. Vinny, I'm trying to work. Oh, absolutely. You're a busy man, and time management is very important. You don't need you to like tell me about that. Would you like some sandwiches? <laughs> uh, uh, just cheese, I'm afraid. Um, hmm, some sandwiches, sir. Yes. Oh, oh thank you, Pavi. <coughs> what do you call this? You call this food? I feed my dog better stuff than this. Uh, Obla Air is a budget airline, sir. You get what you pay for. Have you? There are airlines that serve smoked salmon and caviar, sir, but I'm afraid we are not one of them. Enjoy your tea sandwich. It's handmade, by the way. What? You call that customer service? Excuse me! <laughs> oh, don't worry about Pavi. <laughs> She's quite a character. <laughs> oh, yes. Actually, the first time I met her... <laughs> oh, it was funny. Right. I cannot take any more of this. I'm going to find myself another seat. Oh, of course, Mr. McKendry. <laughs> take your pick. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. We uh, will shortly be entering an area of turbulence. Would you all please return to your seats and keep those seatbelts fastened? Thank you. Can you go back to your seats, please? Oh, excuse me, can you sit down, please? Can I just get past here? Uh, no, I'm sorry, sir. The captain has switched on the fastened seatbelt sign. I don't care what the captain has switched on. I need to change my seat. Pavi, it's all right. This is important. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This is a health and safety issue, sir. I must ask you to return to your seat immediately. Can you please sit? Whoa! Oh, hey, what's going on? Whoa! Oh, that was my head. Oh, well, if you'd sat down when I asked you. Whoa! Ah, ow! And that was my head. But that's all for today. You've been listening to Obla Air, a Learn English radio series, brought to you by the British Council. And remember, you can find more resources to help you learn English at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. Until next time, from David Evans and me, Joan Walker. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.